welcome along. I am going to give you a little bit of an update as to what I've done with my 2018 Tawono, Aprilia Tawono factory. She's a beauty, absolute beautiful bike. I'm going to take you through all the upgrades that I've done. Then I'm going to install LED lights. At the moment it's just got the stock standard bulbs in there, which makes these puppies a bit yellow. And then I'm going to be installing these babies. Hikari 87 LED lights. Apparently they are the eye of Megatron which I think is pretty funny because Megatron had little red dots as eyes and these certainly aren't little red dots so anyway that's what we're going to be doing today so uh, let's get into it so the upgrades that I've done so far I'm six foot six so I've had to put these peg lowering brackets on and also the toe peg brackets too on both sides they're fully adjustable up and down left and right and all that kind of stuff set up for my height which means I can get my knee in this lip of the tank if you see the lip there my knee sits underneath there now without those it used to just kind of be on that lip so that makes it really so much more comfortable and uh, I'm able to kind of move around a lot more on the bike. I've put on these crash protection pieces from um, Evotech. Got one on each side on the frame. Also on the front wheel axle. I have got a radar detector mounted here on a ball that goes into the, um, I don't know what you call that, steering frame, steering bearing hole thing, and I've got um, my quad lock foam mount there too, which is awesome. I've also got a Huig uh, screen on there, dark smoke. Bar and mirrors. There's the crest protection on this side. And also the peg lowering pieces here as well. And also I've got obviously the Ak Akropovich or Akropovich N can on there. So the servo's gone. I've got the race ECU on this thing which pumps out a lot more power. And also I've got the New Rage Tail Tidy, which I think looks epically good. And the uh, number plate's tucked away under there. You can actually swivel that number plate so it comes up or down. You can have it wherever you want, but that's pretty cool. Stoked with that, it just tidies up that rear end. Gives it that kind of pointy look, which is uh, what I like. Yeah, and that's my other bike. Brilliant Dorsa Duro. I haven't done much to that yet, apart from mirrors and a towel tidy as well, but we'll get into that on another video. Before we get started, I want to show you the uh, existing lights on the front. I think I'll have to start her up to show you. So it's going to get a bit noisy. into it. 
RVO, first of all, I'm going to take out the uh, old ones, or the original ones. So we take that little cap off. Somewhere safe. I might just get my light. Pull the, uh, this off. Get that out of the way. Oh, there's two little pins there. the uh, original. That's almost safe. This is the uh, this is the box, you've seen that. turn the bike on and see what happens.
hopefully now you've got this one here which is bigger than the rest so it has to go in the right one it took me about five minutes to figure that out <clears throat> Dusted. <laughs> 